if you minimize switching costs and stay nimble to uh, new tech that comes out and you can just swap it out and throw throw away the old one and, and replace it, that will be the edge in the future. Yeah. And so again, to draw this all the way back to my own selfish needs and things that I'm excited about working on, like if your plan is to really be build a AI agent workflow to do a lot of things on a platform level how could quantly solve those problems yeah uh, a lot of a lot of things uh there i think there is this analogy that can be drawn to sort of to to quant systems um so ultimately as a fund that is effectively utilizing some of the funds that we're working with as well that are basically utilizing this sort of ai system that is in a way a kind of a digital twin to their pms and analysts but also sort of a, an assistant sort of looking at things from a different perspective from what they would normally do it is a combination of of analyst, sort of human analyst and system that in the end gets to the decision, which is very similar to basically what, I mean, it's one step back because it's not fully automated, but it's, it's a step closer and you can scale that process as well. And then you have sort of, you, you're relying on much, much more relying on sort of data and the technology in order to make investment decisions, which is again, a little bit closer to, I guess, the quant side of things. But yeah, what we've seen is that general doesn't work. 